in a world stricken by pandemic, with millions unemployed, quarantined, and surrounded by uncertainty. Hasbro's G.I. Joe 6-inch classified series brings us exactly what we need. This freaking awesome Snake Eyes figure. And he is an awesome figure, but I believe Snake Eyes deserves a quick peek at his history. Let's take a look. The year was 1982. Hasbro wasn't quite the toy giant that it is now. It released a series of action figures based on a toy from decades before called G.I. Joe. Snake Eyes was one of the original figures on the release, using parts from other characters. And in order to save money by eliminating the need for a space sculpt and using all black plastic body, Snake Eyes was born. In 1983, he was re-released with Swivel Arm Battle Grip, at the time a fan favorite. Soon after, in 1995, he was released again with his faithful wolf Timber, a character all on its own. Snake Eyes was injured in a mission, leaving him scarred and unable to speak from vocal cord damage. In most appearances, he does not speak. But that doesn't stop fans from latching on to this character shrouded in a mysterious past and a complex history. Fast forward to 2019, the announcement of the release of his solo movie. 2020, this action figure. Alright, so on to the next thing here. Let's take a look at Snake Eyes. Let's get him opened up. Pretty excited. That is one sweet figure. Don't even do justice to the accessories. We got knife, sword, scabbard, gun pistol. I'm guessing that's a silencer there. So out of the package here, it looks like my suspicion was correct. This pistol is a silenced pistol. And so the accessory pops right on there. Take a look at this picture. It's got a hole for the barrel. So if you can see that, that's some impressive detail. Uh, back to the figure here. Start with the top and work my way around. Um, we got the, looks like a high gloss visor there for the mask. A face shield with some air holes. Uh, another little attention to detail, I think, that they, uh, they really went out a lot. There's that grenade belt. Um, I'm gonna show you a close up of that in a little bit. It's pretty impressive. The, you can't really see it here in this this image, but they do have a lot of little wrinkles and fabric um, details in this that you can't see. So the silencer has to come off the pistol to go into the holster, but this is another incredible little addition here. The silencer does have its own slot next to the holster, so you put the pistol in there and you've got a slot for the holster. <laughs> now that's some forethought there. Uh, Snake Eyes always prepared. So you got the high gloss uh, knee pads there and then the boots as well. There's some of that detail that I was talking about. It's just incredible. I like that they got the thigh straps uh, separate from the waistband. That's always nice. So here's this knife. And I, one quick little warning on the knife. It's probably the only thing that negative that I'd have to say of anything in, on this guy. The knife kept wanting to fall out on me for some reason. It doesn't fit in there pretty snug. There's the hole for the backpack. Paying homage to the classic G.I. Joes. It seems like everyone through the 80s, mid late 80s, would always come with a backpack. So the backpack goes through the hole on the, the grenade belt strap and then also into the back. Uh, I'm guessing most fans are going to opt for the scabbard, but you never know. I mean, he, he might be want to go backpacking. Who knows? All right, so the, the sword fits perfectly in here, so that is nice. And it's also engraved there in the top with the, the uh, emblem. Um, nice fancy handle a little tough to get in his hand because it was so the fingers were so stiff but they did go in there so I just don't think the video is going to really show you the detail on that belt and I did want to show you also how the sword looks in a close-up here so there's a close-up of that and then there's that grenade belt that is just impressive you got the pins and everything there um, super detailed just amazing so on to the posability we got the head that goes up pretty good it's actually relatively not too bad I think but it goes down really well I think the, the downward motion is better so there's the shoulder fly uh, full shoulder rotation double jointed elbow of course everything you'd expect from a from the Hasbro G.I. Joe figures I guess the only thing and it's, I'm not saying it's negative but uh, you know with all the accessories that you've got which they're fantastic um, it does limit some of the posability because you're, you're getting away at the sword and then and the pistol grip and the uh, knife handle and all that stuff so down to the legs here got the, the the joint there the slit in the thigh joint in the knee of course um i like that they put the again 
put those um, details on the thigh straps. Those are pretty awesome. And I want to point out real quick here, I noticed there's a little red piece right above his visor. I thought that was pretty nice little, little detail. Just all these amazing little things that they put in there that just really makes him pop and sp and spark as a fair as a character also the toes so he's got his ninja ninja shoes on ninja boots <laughs> that's pretty awesome i could go on but i'm going to try to keep this to a short review for you hope you enjoyed hope you got at least a good laugh and a very good look at snake eyes he is a worthy addition to any gi joe collection and i've got a photo shoot of course for you to share with you so Here's a look at some of the shots that I took with Snake Eyes. I just don't think you could take a bad shot with this with this figure. So if you've been on, if you've been on Instagram, check them out. If you haven't, I mean, you can look up tons of these pictures of this guy. They're just amazing. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for me if you like the video. Thanks a lot.